Yes, uh, let me start by saying that uh, I don't have a copy of the lecture. And all the councils here in the room. And uh, <coughs> from what the defense is facing, I don't know. It's clear that it's blowing hot, hot and hot. Yeah, at the same time. On one hand, your honor, my colleague, did you say that they are not ready to proceed? And my colleague, Cindy, says that uh, this matter and not proceed. And he went to the extent of promising the court. That for whatever means this matter will be my person. They don't like the money an application is made for an attorney. Mm -hmm. We proceeded well and uh, we agreed that we resume. For <coughs> all arrangements were made. Extra space and help their own. But it is surprising, Aruna, that uh, two or five of these persons are missing. Why in the morning? And now they are missing. <coughs> and they want to write to the court. But if the police were pretending, they accuse the person from accessing the court. The Aruna is a matter of fact. But one of the accused person, uh, the second accused person, as you were proceeding, was just outside here, and it was not going to come to help them go. The only thing that is planned by the defense to cause the accused person, Sarama, not to appear before you. May I? May I? Object to that line of submission by my colleague. Uh, Mr. Mufa, if you may allow me, I want to object to what you're saying. Because uh, first, he has used in judicial language saying that we are lying. What he could have said is that we have misled the court. Two is making an allegation of fact that the second accused was outside here. And that the defense is as close these absences so that we do not proceed. Those are facts that must be adduced in an affidavit so that we can challenge them. That person <clears throat> is accessible, would be accessible to us if the police did not interfere. It is improper and injudicious for a colleague and lawyer to insinuate that officers of the court, even though they are defense lawyers, are deliberately misleading the court and lying to the court and manipulating the judicial system by forcing the absence of another person. Of an accused. We are interested to be paid as defense lawyers. So, how can we get paid if the person who is accused cannot attend court? Like I said earlier, it is shameful. I would like my colleague to retract those words and that statement and do not go to the direction of the reporting that we caused the absence of uh, the accused person. I hope in the fullness of his address, he will explain the presence of the police. And oh, by the way, <laughs> I did not have occasion to add to what Mr. Dick said. 
They are not just two vehicles. They are they are they are about five of them. Thank you, sir. If I may, yes. Uh, you allowed the defense, Your Honor, to raise facts. Yes, yes. You said yes, that yes. Uh, at least persons have been arrested, and it's also a raised facts which I know. And there's the investigating officer here who can confirm that this person was just outside as well. So, that it's not proper that the defense is allowed to raise issues of fact of arrest and this defense. And the prosecution not to be allowed to set fact because those are facts, Your Honor. It's the living, it's the living, it's the living. We did not say that the government was going to disappear. What we find is what in fact I don't have any information to say that, but the information that is the defense is caused. Your Honor, I was. Yes. I, have, I have reason to believe so. That's why I'm saying so. Only that I was a rude leader on Mr. Raptor. What, what we might want to advise him yes. is to file a complaint to the Law Society. <coughs> Dr. Harold Lupi, Everson Yeki, and Mr. Jim have done the following things. He can't speak those things before you without an appeal. Yes. Yes. Your Honor, clearly, uh, the defense has not been able to proceed with this matter. And the same is evidenced by what has happened. You made a dust in the morning, the same was complied with. The police officers were told to allow people to come to court, people were allowed to come. And there's no basis or reason whatsoever, Your Honor, for saying that uh, there is a matter people have been prevented. The only thing the court can go outside and confirm that no one has been prevented from accessing the court, Your Honor. And that issue, Your Honor, has uh, been raised is uh, to someone's. The police command. The run of that request is faceless. No material has been placed before you to support their request. The run I have information from the OCS. Central Police Station Road, who is in charge, but no person has been arrested and no person has been prevented from coming to the court. First one, you are going to the guidelines which you issue that and which we do not that you are going to get with my colleagues. <laughs> you know, in the circumstances, considering that the accused persons who were here in the morning were present when the court directed that the matter must be seen, I pray that the warrant of arrest be issued against them. For reasons known, and I pray your honor that their cash bills be forfeited. And lastly, your honor, I reiterate 
the submissions which I made in the morning, that we are ready to proceed with six weeks in the We have been in court this morning. And I pray that the matter proceeds in the absence of the accused persons who are beside us, but it's not good. That will be all The Honor, these are exceptional circumstances. Nobody could have contemplated that when we come, we were ready to proceed with six weeks. Even now, we are ready to proceed. So, nobody should use that excuse that we are ready. We are already prepared. Our friends are well prepared. The challenge is who could have contemplated that when we come to court, we will have obstruction from the court. Number two, who could have contemplated that when we come to court and we go out? That was our hands, all the rules and activity were restrained by the police from accessing the court. Your Honor, we can work with you. You need a self work, and you will see there are not one vehicle, but about police, five police cars blocking this road in the accident. So that we will forget about these self shows and games being played by the police. We don't say in Omega. I know it's beyond a moment. This is, this is a game being played by high stake. It is a succession, it is a 2027 mission. That is what is at play, Your Honor. I know that. So, my take on this is that in 2027, Kenyans are in this And then we have no interest. As we are interested in this case, the facts and the law of this case. And the police are allowed to proceed with this case. And the police are allowed to four accused persons. It will not be fair to apply for warrants because that is a strange application. In our application, we never deal with it, the issues of warrants. So the reply that we at the reply state that we issue warrants, you know, you know, there will be no cases whatsoever. We issue warrants for people who are here, but they have been brought to come back by the police. The state, which is represented by Mr. Menga, should simply take the police that they are undermining the rule of law and due process. Let them allow the accused person to come back to court. So, Your Honor, as you retire to make your ruling, and we are indicating and declaring that we are ready to proceed, if the police can be allowed space to be able to exercise our professional training and skills to represent. <coughs> so we have nothing else. That's why we have no issue even with the prescription. Because we know it is beyond them. And we have no issue even with the, the three officers. We know all of these are messengers. They are being sent. They, we know the king things. <laughs> we know the king things. They are in the room. So, but we will deal with them. <laughs> 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 <laughs>